students are now resorting to sleeping on the streets to secure their student housing. This is a crazy story. The housing crisis has got so bad in Durham that students are now camping outside letting agencies in order to be first in line to secure their next year's housing accommodation. According to some students, there's now a mass panic because they know there is just not enough housing to meet demand. Apparently this year has seen the largest intake of students to Durham on record. And according to one letting agent, apparently the council only permit around 10% of the accommodation in the area to be reserved for student housing. Now during the pandemic, there's been almost a double digit rise in the amount of applications to some of the UK's most prestigious universities. After a move from exams to teacher assessed grades meant more students were qualifying for some of these competitive courses. And when you factor in the large number of landlords who are downsizing or selling their portfolios due to the tax and regulatory changes that have come into the private rented sector in recent years, unfortunately Durham has become a classic example of demand well outstripping supply. But Durham isn't the only university having this problem. Similar issues have been reported in Dublin, Manchester, York, Bristol and Glasgow, where an undersupply of housing has already affected a large number of students. And simply building new tower blocks to accommodate the increase in students just isn't as feasible today as it has been over the past decade due to the serious inflationary headwinds in the form of financing, construction and operating costs. Developers just can't make the numbers stack up like they could do when debt costs were much lower. The powers that be need to get their act together in order to help students by opening up more property to the private rented sector and encouraging the student landlord back to the marketplace.